welcome back to Jax Does Homestuck Gay Stuck Edition. I am Jackie, or Jax, and today we're going to be talking about Vriska. Um, I do just want to preface this and say I genuinely like Vriska, so there won't be any hating on Vriska here. So if this isn't your cup of tea, if you don't really like Vriska that much, feel free to not listen to this episode. There's kind of two major gay relationships for Vriska. She has Trezzy and she has Mina. But the times we see her really, like, really crush on people is pretty much whenever she knows that they could kick her ass, which I love. Like, whenever she finally has the sort of feelings for Kanaya that Kanaya wanted her to have is when Kanaya just freaking chainsaws Aridin in half. And... She likes it when Mina is being all, you know, leadershipy and heiressy and everything like that. And she gets hard eyes over that as well. And it's just like, if they could kick her ass, then that's when, that's when Briska likes them. For the most part, there, there's some exceptions, but anyway, so... So Vriska and Kanaya was just a case of Vriska being clueless as heck. She just, like, everyone else could see that Kanaya liked her, and Vriska just didn't see that. I think she was too caught up in the relationships she felt she was supposed to have that she didn't really pay much attention to Kanaya. So, you know, she... Felt like she was supposed to follow in his footsteps and have the um, kismesis with Aridin and have a maidspirt ship with uh, Tavros that she didn't really think outside of that is is kind of my excuse for it. But um, yeah, and she's just so clueless to it that she doesn't even think that Kanaya had feelings for her whenever she finally realizes that Kanaya got mad about something she thinks it's because Kanaya liked Tavros and not her and she's just she's so up on things with like everything else but whenever it comes to that she's just so clueless and it's wonderful and frustrating and then we have her and Mina which is kind of a twofold thing because we have the first version of her you know slowly come to like Mina like it starts out with like a little bit of flirting and a little bit of like yeah we both wish Rania hadn't gone off and it turns into like well we don't really want to mess with anything now everything is kind of pointless so we're just gonna hang out and do whatever and um and yeah so it, it it turns into a relationship there and that was That was very cute. I really, really like that. And I I really feel sorry for that Briska at the end um, of that relationship. But but yeah, and then it goes to the other Briska, the the, uh, alive Briska, who still gets hard eyes for Mina. the, uh, The circuit girls just can't resist Mina, I guess. And Mina can't resist circuit girls is what this comes down to. And then we have Briska and Terezi. And while they definitely have a great moral allegiance, I do feel like there's something there for a maidspirt ship. And it's just difficult because I know that moral allegiance is a romantic relationship for trolls, but I do just feel like there's some red feelings there, whether they um, want to admit it or not. Like, the way it ends for dead Briska, like, seeing Terezi and holding her hand, and it's just very, very sweet and very fulfilling. And, you know, Terezi running off and trying to find Briska no matter what, it's fantastic. I'm a big Visrezi shipper and I just really love their relationship and how you know even at the beginning even when we're in hive bent Briska is like maybe not flirting but just being like hey remember when you were so awesome at like 
destroying people without even lifting a finger by just with politics and everything else like she loves that again going back to kind of like people who could probably kick her ass and i just really love their um their relationship how it kind of it kind of encompasses a lot of the different quadrants because you know for a while they seem to be a black rom thing but then there are uh, more legions at the end and then uh, again i just feel like there's some potential there for matespritship yeah i just really like Riska and i really like terezi and i really like them together <laughs> so uh yeah that's kind of my my overview of Riska. i do just want to end with my one controversial homesuck opinion and that is that I had canon Vriska as bisexual and not as a lesbian. So that's that. So so yeah, that's uh that's my take. And I can definitely talk about that more if you want me to, but I mean this isn't to say that like like definitely if you had canon Vriska as a lesbian, like that's great. And I don't have anything wrong with that, and I can definitely see where people are coming from with that. It's just I mean, I think it's just because I'm bisexual, so I'm like, yeah, you're bisexual too. And yeah, so that's that's how I go with that. But anyway, yeah, so this was the uh, Briska episode. Um, I'm recording this a bit early, so my information here might not be up to date, but um, definitely check out my Twitter, SA Dragon Tweets. Check out my website, jacksdoeshomestuck.com. Uh, Join my Discord and um, talk with me there. I post updates. Uh, sometimes I'll even post like little clips of episodes to come. Like, I mean, by this time my Rose episode has come out, but I posted a little clip. I posted a little clip of um, part of my Rose episode before it came out. And um, and yeah, and please, uh, if you have the money to spare and you really like listening to this uh consider supporting me on uh, patreon or uh coffee i think it's called i always say ko-fi but i think it's supposed to be coffee um and and yeah just uh please uh like subscribe and share this episode and um and yeah thank you for listening and i'll see you guys um what is this posting on Saturday? Then I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Or no, this is posting on Wednesday, so I'll see you on Saturday. You know, whichever it is. If this is a Saturday, I'll see you on Wednesday. If this is a Wednesday, I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs>